What's up guys? Back with another quick video here. I've been a little busy, but uh, yes, I've been paying attention to the monkeypox outbreak and how everybody's talking about it, guys. Um, so I'm just going to scroll through this fucking uh, most recent news, best match. Uh, notice how everything's talking about vaccines again. So they're just going to be talking about vaccines. There's no such thing as, hey, don't don't put your thing in, in where it shouldn't be, anything like that. There isn't any, uh, you know, guidance on, on things like that. Just vaccines, vaccines, vaccines. Uh, also, vague terms like variety of mechanisms for spread and from an expert. Headlines that are designed to scare you and make you think that people who are smarter than you are telling you that you're going to die if you don't do what they say. It's like a hostage negotiation kind of thing. So they're going to be talking about, hey, we need more vaccines. Monkeypox is spreading. It's a global emergency now because the World Health Organization said so. It, was, it wasn't last week, but it is now. And they're going to be talking about this for the next six months. Why do I say six months, guys? Because it's the seventh month of the year. It's July 24th. And if we go down to the paper, uh, November 2021, it was published, but it was from March 2021. As it says right here, guys, the NTI have partnered with Munich Security Conference to conduct a tabletop exercise uh, to protect the world from future pandemics. If we go all the way down to page 9 and 10 here, we can see the participants and the program that we're looking at here, guys. I'll just scroll down real quick. Here's page nine. Look at the, I'm not going to say the names or anything of this. I don't want YouTube to think, oh, it's misinformation. This is something that these people sat at in a tabletop exercise. They're the participants. They did this in March, 2021. Okay. And these are the same people. They technically, they are the same people who are, who happen to have been uh, in charge of COVID. Okay. The same people sat down in March, 2021. And they put together a scenario that has a May 15th, 2022 outbreak of monkeypox in a fake country. And June 5th was the first move. No international warnings or advisories. And it seems like they might be speeding up move too. But uh, I just wanted to point that out, guys. And but the end goal here is that they're going to see 3.2 billion cases, 271 million deaths. How is that going to happen? Because they're going to tell you in January that monkeypox was engineered to be vaccine resistant, which goes back to the thing is, hey, we need vaccines, guys. We need vaccines. What else has gone resistant to the vaccine lately? And what what is there any other diseases that vaccines were used as the primary source of uh, of uh, defense against that? have helped the a virus become resistant to the vaccines i can't think of a virus at all but the end goal here guys is they want to they want to bring you along here kitty 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 they want to bring you along if this is there's a hypothetical tabletop scenario goes anything like the real life scenario that's happening they're going to bring you along to the point where they're going to reveal that russia i mean a terror group uh, infiltrated civilian bio root labs, I mean research facilities, whatever Victoria Newland said the things in Ukraine were, I guarantee that if this happens, it would be blamed on Russia, and it's going to become a huge thing, way worse than COVID, 271 million fucking deaths. Just thought I'd bring that up, guys. Another thing, uh, as a side note here, guys, uh, not related to monkeypox, so I wanted to bring up the coronavirus deaths per million people from Canada. Uh, we are at the highest point uh, this weekend, just before this weekend, five per million than we were the entire first wave when they were inflating deaths by covering up the flu, which I've already gone over in a, in a previous video here, guys, is that uh, on Canada's uh, epidemiology report on Canada.ca, um, you actually can look at the statistics and it tells you that there is 48,819 flu cases in 2018 and the 2019-2020 season stopped immediately and, and abruptly, unexpectedly in the third week of March. And then in 2020 uh, to 2021, there was only 69 cases. So we're looking at 48,000 dipped to 69 in just a year and a half uh, for the flu cases. And, uh, and coincidentally, COVID has the same symptoms as the flu. So all these cases before when we were trying to scare people into locking themselves down, destroying their economy, causing the inflation that we're seeing today uh, was probably the flu. But I'm not going to say that for sure. Maybe it was COVID. But that being said, the deaths per million, while it is COVID now, is higher than it ever was in the pandemic and it's in the middle of fucking summer so that should scare you guys why does that, that why should that scare you check out the Garrett Van and Bosch interviews that I've been posting guys it's uh, about immune pressure we using non sterilizing vaccines causing uh, the virus to select mutations like Delta like Omicron that already exist 
but are now becoming dominant because they ha or have higher uh, infectious pressure capable of escaping the immune pressure that the vaccines put on it. And because the vaccines don't kill the virus, it can spread and then learn the immune systems and become dominant, spreading mostly amongst the people who have the uh, suboptimal immune pressure that does not sterilize the virus. So you know, you can put two and two together and find out what that means. But why am I bringing up deaths instead of cases, guys? Well, I'm bringing up deaths and severe outcomes generally here and more often lately because what's happening is what we've seen already with Omicron is that the infectious pressure overcame the infection neutralizing antibodies from the vaccine. And that is why we're seeing people who are vaccinated more susceptible and chronically ill becoming uh, catching COVID more than once. And while the media th is playing that off like it's something normal and that the virus is just one of a kind, like I've never seen a virus behave this way, CBC, CTV News will do that. Um, what we're really seeing is that we're in the selection phase for the virus. Uh, where it's going to select mutations that can overcome the virulent neutralizing antibodies that are currently neutralizing virulent and more uh, severe outcomes. And, and that's why uh, I expect in the fall we're going to see these deaths jump through the roof, mainly among the vaccinated population, because the virus is going to have selected mutations that are now capable of overcoming both the infectious pressure or in, infection neutralizing antibodies and the virulent neutralizing antibodies, leaving the vaccinated with a high susceptibility to both infection, chronic infection, reinfection, and severe outcome. So we're going to see a huge push for vaccines, guys. They're going to pretend like we, it's because we didn't vaccinate enough babies. Um, but we're going to see a huge push for propaganda. We're going to see it go through the through the summer. All the while, we're going to see the monkeypox stuff go uh, under the radar while they uh, push forward on the plan that they have already planned out for you guys. So uh, if you want to take a look at that, just read, just go through it, read it for yourself, find out if you uh, think the way I think, or if you have your own opinion on it, that's great. Um, but keep an eye on the severe outcomes and death amongst the vaccinated. So anyways, with that guys, we're going to take it easy and uh, don't forget to take it.